Shame. What's going on, Key? What's going on? We're just going through a harmony for the end of a very epic song called Mr. Brightside. Why are you whispering? I don't know. Okay. It sounds creepy. Why don't you have a Why? Didn't get Jack Why? then. You didn't get Jack then. <laughs> but she pooed. Did you poo? Because <laughs> he shouts on a microphone. Did you poo? That's not a nice noise. No, I think you pooed. I think you're just scared and I that's it. I think you just it. got scared and you got embarrassed. You did. You did. I'm going zooming in on the face. Look, she did. Looks like we're lowering the standards of the welcome, aren't we? What the hell are we singing here? The welcome. It's the, it's the weller man. A sea shanty song. Ready for me, Lono? Ready? Okay. Amazing. In the club. Now we've finished the principal um, block of rehearsals, so now the guys are going to get time off while the club is closed in April, and um, so while they're off for about probably about four or five days off, I'm going to finish off all the props and scenery. We've got some major scenery this year, and. Um, So yeah, we're going to start working on tomorrow, and then I'm probably going to have a day off before my kids go back to school, and then I'm going to carry on working on Monday morning while these guys are all the way, keep up from under their feet I suppose. So working on some very spectacular scenery we've never tried before, I'm probably going to need some maintenance help on that one I think. Some secondary shows now. We've got a Trump who is not leaving. Thank God for that. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever it is, whatever time you're watching this. At the moment, I am rewiring. Well, we've had these rewired, and now I'm putting all the covers back on all of all of these. Um, covers and we're going to fire it up for the first time with all the colours back on in just a little sec um, I'll see if I can see because it's very difficult to see it so the rotor sign we've, I've, been, I've, got, I've got to spend basically it takes ages I've put it all of these back on all of these like uh, bits because all of them have to be redone and re-put back on so at the moment as you can see that's what I'm doing and we'll fire it up in a minute so you can have a look this is what we get We've never had anything like this before at the welcome. We're just running a pattern at the moment from a foot switch, but both panels, these are quite big by the way. They are really quite big. I don't know if I can give you an exact idea of scale, but if you have a look at that, it's madness. And then the big one, we'll put it, we'll just unplug them because of the controllers, and now we've got the big one on, which is amazing. And again, each panel that you're looking at here is probably over 10 foot, maybe more. So coming back over here, look at it, they are over 10 foot. So it's, you know, there's a 30 feet of lights there to go on our new carnival set, which is going to look amazing. Professor Rota is the guy who runs it. And all of these stickers on here from, the, it was one of those sticky walls where you were actually stuck to the wall. That's all going to be changed. The stickers are going to be changed accordingly. Looking good. There's Kelly's head. Shoulders, knees and toes. Because she's cold and we're trying on possible new uniforms. 
at the moment and then over here they've set the tower up today right at the top because we've been putting winches up there and things uh, heavy duty winches which will be we're lifting everything that's now all up there and we have that's kelly you've seen her before hello blog <laughs> had all the amps have been out, I've cleaned all the amps and done the mini service which means cleaning all the vents out and cleaning it all and now we've got to do all of this to make it all look nice again so that's just all of this so this is all the bits that we have to do and all fitted it all into the back of this so the job I've done many times before so hopefully I'll get it done again all the Crown amps are back in. That's now been rigged up separately. We've not been using that, but we're rigging that up so that we can control monitors separately. And there's the management system for all the amps. All been put back in. Now it's tidy up. We've been experimenting with the DMX thing here in order to um, put on those the strip lights for the stage where they used to be, the ones that go down there and across here. For a couple of hundred quid, I think we can get them all back working again. So um, they go all the way across there, and if you, people might remember, they go all the way across the top as well. So one of the jobs I've been doing is been up on here, and we've been doing all of the lights. I don't know if you can see them very well there, but all of those lights been going on cleaning them all out so that the um, so they're not blocked and blowing, you know, so they've all got to be done. We've had costume run again today. Very soon we shall be going into full on rehearsal as show modes rather than um, stuff, uh, rather than for te television, which we've been doing. All of the lamp posts have now been set, the batteries are ready to make them. We've just got, we've got switches and things for them, they're all going to be independently powered. And they've all had the new wheels put on because one of the routines we need them all to move. So I think it's going to look fantastic. And I can't wait to get it all started because in the next week or two we're going to be full on doing all the rehearsals for the shows. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here at the moment, what you're going to see now is a gentleman from Smithy Signs. And he's doing some graphic uh, design for us, which has come out fabulous. Because I'll just show you an example. Because we had these old things which you've seen before, and you have like there, which had this sticky wall thing on. The one that is now finished on this side, or nearly finished, now has perfectly brilliant new graphics on, showing one of the characters from the show. A couple of scores on the bottom to finish it off, do it the same way. Yeah, they look they look brilliant, man. When they're up, and when when they're lit properly as well, they look fantastic. Yeah, that's that's Jack's character, Charlie Quinn. Okay, the bits that I'm doing now are the finishing touches on the lamp posts, which basically from the top here, if you look here, it you can see that there's the bottom of the bulb type of thing with the fire effect. So what I'm doing in actual fact is aging the bulb edge in the bottom of the glass with just a little bit of black paint like this and what that actually does is takes gives it a little bit of age looking as well but also takes away the bottom of the bulb so you'll see the effect in a sec I'll show you in just a little set okay so what you can actually see here now is the the bulbs in the your lamps so what we do is I am just aging them slightly, the lamp, so it takes away a little bit of the bulb at the bottom where you can actually see the electric bulb. Just little things like that, for instance. So now what I do is I just, just take a little bit of spray and just spray it up to take it away. So you can see now that the, the bulb bit isn't, um, when you go backwards, you see now that bulb there, you can see on that corner there, and you can see over there the difference between that one and this one what looks more aged so for instance that one in the corner now i could take off a little bit and instantly even when it dries you can see it's a little bit wet at the moment but when it dries you get a better effect with the lamps like that i'll demonstrate in a minute when i turn them on and this is now sort of what we get for the finished effect see where the, the bulbs are blacked out a bit so when you pull back a little like that all you can see is the sort of the flame and um, rather than just bulbs and that. And uh, 
you know, they look terrific actually.